written by Patrick Zala. And she was like, enough of this shit, yeah, that's written Zala. So, uh, Shin flies up and he's like, yo, move over, just a little bit. Maybe uh, get your butt in gear. And, and Alex's like, alright, alright, this is a battle I have to fight. And now the stage ends either eight turns or when Sado is destroyed. So I gotta get a lot of shit on. To get his turn master down. Alliance after aliens all fighting each other. And Aina, my head's spinning, I don't know what's going on. Toshi, I'll tell you what, ladies, just start with whoever picks a fight first. And, uh, Daisuke, he's right, don't forget that we're here to stop the colony from falling. And, uh, Mizuki, um, a warrior from another world and a veteran from Jupiter, sure know how to stay cool. Toga, we can't let those guys outdo us, let's go. Indeed, the Grand Knights are the fangs that defend the Earth. Fucking seed. Zaku stands for Zaft, armed keeper of unity. Gundam even stands for something too. It stands, the Gundam stands like three different things. And I gotta move these guys up to get um, his 40% bonus against them for anybody who's touching him, which is real nice. Let's have sets going for a By the time Moon Dwellers comes around, they'll figure out 3D maps. <laughs> now that's the thing, I guess. People don't hate Seed. First season of Seed, just regular Seed, is aggressively mediocre in the, the really boring way. Where it's just... Whatever. It's mo it's a retelling of regular Gundam, but worse until like the end, and then it starts to do its own thing. Like, oh, I right, so bad. But then Seed Destiny is so fucking bald that it completely poisons the well and makes people go, yeah, Seed sucks because it led to Seed Destiny. Fucking Capricorn in his Marasai. <laughs> Technicon cooler. Fucker. You stay away from Goku. So Shithead. You can't stop me. It's getting stuck in.
because he does have a solid soundtrack. He's got a solid soundtrack and the mech design is mostly really good. Character design. Low target. Yeah, like, like, Kira isn't, like, even Super Space Jesus in regular seed. Like, he's just Amaro, but shittier. And, a, like, a huge baby. It wasn't until Destiny that he became actual Jesus, where he rose from the dead after being dead for three days. And was the completely unstoppable man. And then they did the HD remaster where they changed it to make him, it, like, retroactively, he was infallible. Next, I don't know if he's actually dead for three days, but he's he died. Like he's definitely fucking dead. He's a hundred percent dead until he's not. And it's fucking balls. He's definitely fucking dead till he's not though. Like completely destroyed by the world's hugest fucking laser that totally melts his cockpit. Completely destroys him. He's dead. He's dead as hell. And then he's fine. He's like actually. Uh, in the cockpit, it was fine, it didn't melt. When you saw it melt, it actually was fine. You're wrong. You didn't do shit. Like, original Gundam, Amaro... <laughs> He's dead for three episodes. Nailed it. Let's do that. Like, in original Gundam... Amaro has the instruction book land in front of the Gundam, he flicks through it, he gets in the machine, keeps flicking through it, presses the button, it tells him to press to get it going, hits the shoot button. It's it's fine, like he is an actual genius though, right? Like it's established that he invented and built the Haro himself beforehand. Like he's a super cool dude. And he's read the instruction book on this thing that's meant to be easy to use in the first place anyway. Kira gets in the thing and programs the fucking OS from scratch in like 15 seconds. And is then the best dude of all time, just out of fucking nowhere. And they just go, oh no, he's a coordinator. He's just better than a regular human. So he can do that. And it's like, what? What? It's such a shit. Yeah, Kira... Not only is Kira a coordinator... So he's genetically modified Ubermensch. He's actually the only super coordinator. Because all the others didn't survive. All the other emperors didn't survive the process. But he's a super coordinator. So he's an Uberman above, above all others. You know, they, are, they, they are better though. Like They're stronger, faster, generally more intelligent. Like, they're more cold, like, everything about them, like, if you put a human and a coordinator in a race, or any contest at all, the coordinator will always win a hundred times out of a hundred. It's like the, like, it's like the new type thing, it's like, oh, new types, they got really good spatial awareness, but they tend to be emotionally unstable. Well, it's not okay. New types aren't emotionally unstable. It's more that they are um, because most of them are teens, and teens are wild anyway. And then you get things where 
they connect with someone and they're like, that's my soul mate. Like it happens to regular people already, right? Like regular people do it. Regular teens in the real world have that shit happen to them. And now imagine you actually have a superpower that literally tells you that. Straight up goes, yo, this person's my soulmate. This is my bestest friend in the entire world. So they tend to be ruled by their emotions. But coordinators are just better in every way. And then he also has the seed factor. So he's also just got that much shit going for him as well. But yeah, take Stella and Kagali's portraits put back away from her, they fucking can't. Because the only difference is that the outfit and she's got longer hair, I think. Super Wars J Kira's shit because they make him shot on purpose as a as a joke. I mean, they just do it bad. And then K has the like the best showing of seed. Um, Destiny that they ever had. Like Kagali's incredible in it, and she like she, she's super proactive all the time, and she's just good as hell. It's fine, you know, because Shin's getting fucking murdered, and I don't like it. Uh, it's really frightening they would sacrifice this many lives for an excuse to fight the coordinators. Whatever they're thinking is probably over my head. But I'm a soldier, I carry out the mission I'm assigned. Just like this. Yeah, Ki like, Kira is in the shit robot for a really long time. And then he gets the freedom and he finally gets the fear of, like... Like, you could tell whoever did Jay wasn't a big fan. Oh, she's getting fucking murdered. So that's a game over, so let's quick load that then. Oh, I guess he doesn't do quick load, that's fine too. Uh, no, Seed Shah is friggin' Moo. It's really fucked up, right? Okay, it's about a general purpose utility, non -disc discontinuity augmentation maneuvering weapon system, or gunnery united nuclear deuterium advanced maneuver system. And yeah, the two definitions of Gundam in Seed is fucking bad. And then they friggin' like Moo fucking dies, and then he comes back and he's fine. And there's Neo Roanoke, who's a clone of Moo's dad, and he's evil. And then there's shit. Who's the little boy's name? What's the little boy's name? He's also a clone of Moo's dad. He's in W. Prayer? Yeah, Prayer Reverie. Prayer is also a clone of Moose Dad. And, and they're like the only remaining new types. Now, in Seed Universe there are new types, but they all fucking die. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think you can tell that whoever did J wasn't a big fan of C because of the scene where yeah, Koji Kaguras right. goes, Man, there's way too much drama on this ship, I'm leaving. And he just, like, that's the reason oh, that all oh, the supers leave. Is Koji just goes, Man, everybody here's awful. Uh, bye. And they just go to the Nadesco instead. They're like, Nah, let's not hang out with the seed. And also, the seed um, gets worse. Like, the Seed Battleship, the Archangel, just gets, like, it has its mid-season upgrade that makes it worse in every way. Like, it loses pilots. It goes from being, like, a 5-seater or 4-seater down to a 2. Or maybe even a 1. Like, it gets, it, like, everybody else gets their mid-season upgrade, and the Seed Battleship becomes worse. You're like, oh, good. Thanks. Let's work there. Shin Asuka. <laughs> Hold up, the Archangel's getting worse. Yeah, NJ loses all of its. Yeah, it's already way worse than this guy. It's fucked up, right? The, like, the Archangel is a perfectly average super robot on this ship, except it's in a game with the Nadesco in a game where everything wants to murder the Nadesco but can't. <laughs> like, the Nadesco's fucking incredible in J. It's outrageously good. And then the Archangel loses its massive spirit ball. Which is, like, the only thing keeping it afloat compared to every other unit in the game at that point. Wait, the Nadesco gets the upgrade. Everybody gets an upgrade around that point. And then the Archangel's just like, oh, except we're not as, we're worse than we used to be. Sorry. Whoops. Really fucked that one. Yeah, the, the AI is like, can I hit the Nadesco? If not, Mazen Kaiser, great Mazen Grandi. If Grandi exists. Like, that's its protocol. It's really good. Which is why the SR point in Moon Dwellers, where Grandi's not allowed to move and you have to kill everything by waiting for enemies to get to Grandi, is really good because it's like, this is what Jay was like. You, you, you form a death ball and hit end turn and wait for everything to come to you. Isn't Granted good now? And you're like, not really. It's boring, actually. The Kustwell is cool as heck, so I do not blame you for going with the Kustwell. This is the over my head thing that we just had. Like, uh, like, Granted, Dracodius is way better than Kuswell and Belzalu. Like, for uh, one, because the enemies will attack it so it murders everything. Two, its second strongest attack is stronger than the other two's finisher. And then the Wrath Clans is even better than that, so it's fucked up. Yeah, if they give you HP regen part of the start of J, the disco could solo it in. <laughs> Why do they even feel Zakus? Because Zakus are cool! They, they were cool and good at one point, they were what were winning Z on the war. And then they got massively outdated, and now. Um, these guys have got high Zaks? Which are just pretty much high performance Zakus with the. Jigen backpack. Oh, you can run in the exact screen. Oh, yes, yes. Fucking plus three range on everything. Just outrageous. Just gross when they're aced. Uh, oh, I wish I could roll attack, but I can't. This is the end.
Something there is about Boom Buster's like a little compensate with a range 12 attack. If you have a range 13, that Boom Buster's kind of. Yeah, it's really good. This Aku wasn't canon for a for a long time, and by a long time I mean for like the entirety of the One Year War, apart from like the last three months. Zaku was such cutting the edge technology that that's what was winning Z on the war. The only thing that could have beaten the Zakus was more tanks, like more tanks, or the GM showing up. Are you some kind of new type? These guys, these jokers. Uh, in the Giran's Greed games, which are... If you played Nobunaga's Ambition, they're sort of like that. That sort of map game thing. In that, when you play as the Federation, uh, one of the ways you can win is um, just make more tanks, just more tanks, just millions and millions of tanks. And then there's even a cutscene for it. And um, if you Google like Giran's Greed tank in Google image search with, and do like animated type, you'll see it. And it's a cutscene where there's three Zaku's walking along through a city. And then one of them looks to its right, and then just the entire road is covered in tanks, like the opening of Evangelion, and they just fucking annihilate the Zaku. It's like, whoops. So here's Lila, she leaves now because she's sad because she got blown up. Oh no, okay, no, she's gonna do a full heal because she's not giving up yet. Mark 2. I think this is where Camille's gonna get a move early. Like, and by early, I mean he gets it now instead of the end of the stage, but he might not. Okay, so Lila refuses to stay down. She's going to take down the Mark II because there's something dangerous about the pilot. It was like, Camille, get out of there. He's like, I'm trying. Use my father's data. You can't stop me. Oh yeah, yeah, this is, yeah, so we get the uh, this attack because we defeated Lila, otherwise we'd get it at the end of the stage. The new Gundam is in... Uh, is in Z. We get the end. Armour upgrades to the Zeta fucking four games in a row, no, five games in a row. No, that's not true. In Z... In, um... Z2, he doesn't even fucking join in until the end. But in Z, uh, I think Alpha 3 as well, so it's like Alpha 3, Z, Z2, 2, both Z3s, he upgrades from it. But yeah, that's the, like, the wing crash or something. Uh, Lion is like, dang it, Jared! He gets blown up. Jared, what is like, no, Lila! And flips his shit. And then Cool is like, whoa, what was that? Dude, I can hear that. What does that prove? Like, wait, what does that prove? Like, he thought he could hear Jared in his mind. And it's because Camille is a fucking outrageously powerful new type. And now he's got the. Um, thing. The big crash move. Fly a goddamn plane into a nerd. Eat it, Kakrakon. 
Ugh, I'm dying. Oh yeah, flying armor crash attack. You would have get it at the end of this stage, but we got it so we get to use it on Jared and laugh at him. I was like, dang it, I'm fucking blown up. How could this happen to me? The big shithead from hell. Yeah, use the big fucking move on him. New type way, you know, gonna How does making people's feelings make you a better pilot? You're really good at reading people. Uh, new types have really, really good spatial awareness. And when you're fighting in a true 3D environment, such as space, that's incredible. And... Um, the best way to explain it is, have you ever like been playing Counter-Strike or something? You ever been playing uh, a multiplayer game? Or have you ever gone paintballing? And you get that sense that someone's watching you, and then you turn around and the 180 no-scope them? Or have you ever got a feeling that someone's watching you? New types get that, but like, times a hundred. Eat shit, Jerry, and I just crashed a fucking plane into you. So Take like them apples. There's still these guys over here. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Stop taking you out. Oh no, you shot Koji Kabudog. Oh, yes, yes, Whatever will he do? Other than take another six of them. No, regular Zade is powered by ghosts. The biosensor. Like when he does his big move, there's new type of ghosts flying at him. Yeah, no, this is this is drop of Unia 7 on Earth. We're dealing with it, and also Butcher. Yeah, like, I think my save's currently turn 3. Like, end of turn 3. She didn't die, so I had to reload it. But luckily, I only died a little bit. Oh, yeah, good. Go ahead and attack goddamn Quattro. Chicken, 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 chicken. Oh, yeah, you really showed Quattro Vagina. Damn, Koji is outrageous. Uh, I played the first few stages of L, and I forgot that in L, uh, Dankuga Nova shows up to stop the Lime Barrels guy, because he's being a huge jerk, because that's Lime Barrel guy's thing. Zambot Buster, sure thing. Get the uh, old little elephant crab. <laughs> oh shit, they really fight all over Zambot. <laughs> guys, guys, the deck sucks! I can two of them. Okay. Here we go. Down for Buster. Eat it. Wink. Probably shouldn't do a moon attack. Just do the big combination. The, the next game for OG should be W.
Runom's hoping for a, a short, like a Dark Prison style or um, Rengoku style download only title that's the prologue. So you get the, like the pre time split RD Gun family story there. W is full of cool dudes, except the main dude. The main dude sucks, but he's cool as well. Because he's such an idiot. He's just an idiot. But his dad's cool, all of his family's cool, the villains are cool, it's just main dude is such a huge goofus. Got him. Oh, he moved. It's Sada giving after and shit. Uh, if you fight for Zeft, why don't you see that Patrick Zala's path is the only way? Ugh. Harmony with the Naturals is a pipe dream. They'll always turn on us coordinators. It's us or them. We must destroy them, for all we rest in peace here. You're wrong. Naturals and coordinators can understand each other. I fought because I believe with that or with all my heart. Yeah, definitely more Alpha 3 plot. Like, Alpha, Alpha 3 is... Like, it, it's... All the things are in place ready for that shit to kick off. So, the... Next OG game is gonna have W and... Um, Alpha 3. For sure. Because I, they can't drag it out any longer. Good, we can go fast. Good, excellent. Right. That's a good start. So we get... 40% damage from hanging out with the King Beal. Ryo will get his upgrade. Um, Ryuko and Koryo will get their upgrade. But hopefully not by absorbing the other two because they're fucking dead and I'd like anybody else to have them. The best upgrade to the Gungus Type O you can do is letting anybody other than Rishu and Zenga play with it. That's Butcher. He's the squeaky one. Shoot! Shoot! Rishu is super fucking great though, but imagine if you could put him imagine if you could put him in anything else, imagine if you could put anybody else in the pipe out. you fucking pig. The, the good scan. Oh, well, I just did it. Keiko's the one with the good scan, though, so never mind.
Like, the reason only Mishu and Zengar compiled it is it's based on Mishu's motion data. And Zengar is the only other dude who's as good as him, or even close to being as good as him, but I mean, come If I could put Rishu in the, the mass-produced Huckabane and the Shishi Blade, what more do you need? Missiles, the shitty CGI missiles. It's a, a, at least bullet gets a sword with the final upgrade. Is he a big enough boy to grow large yet? No, he's not. That's fucking balls. No, you're not a big enough boy to grow big yet. What do you need, dude? He's only 117, fuck me. Alright. Oh, here we go. Like, he gets his, he gets his sword for the final upgrade, and it's just a Shishiro blade, but the scabbard is the tiger's tail. Poor guy, Sishiyagi. Good. That means we can actually really fuck that guy up. Do, or this planet is. Don't ever think it, said Sakon. You must make it harder for yourself. Calm down, first lieutenant. When you're on a mission, you gotta stay frosty. Right. Seed power is not active yet. Seed power doesn't exist yet. this mode so she can at least defend him.
here and crash a plane into this guy. They're gonna have to do something for the new OG because pe pe like being able to deploy 12 pairs is no good. Being able to deploy 12 pairs when that means you have 16 pairs not deployed is unacceptable in my mind. They need to either give you less people back, which isn't the way they should do it, or they need to open it up to triples or quads. Even if the quads are just doubles, but there's two people in the back who always do a support attack. And like, that's it. Like, like the two people in the back never do anything on their own, they just count the support attack and support defend for the main dudes. So you can't maximum break with them or anything, they're just like a little bonus thing. Just to get you to deploy all of the stuff, at least. I got Pokemon to go written down here somewhere. I told you that attack is useless. I'm glad that the thing opened on the other monitor. Just to irritate me. Camille's super good, and like the Mark II and the Impulse are our best reels right now. But. Oh boy, is that gonna kick off when that boy becomes a real boy? <laughs> I don't actually want to get that dude though. Oh good, he's got plenty of health. Oh, she can't do shit anyway, never mind then. Never mind. I'll just shoot this fucker. I don't see the point. I don't see the point in anything. I should really have these guys over here helping out. Helping the reels survive. Splits in Moon Dwellers like do actually only give you half of the cast, except for the one where half of it is just um, the Kuragane crew. Because it's Kuragane crew. Stop. And the other route is everybody else, but I think the, like the other two route splits are only half the people. It's just that still half the people is way too many when they only let you deploy nine. 
You're allowed to deploy 18 people and they give you like... 30, I think? The main problem is that uh, in Moon Dwellers with the deployment is that you can't... Like, Granted is force deployed all the time and they give you one less squad because of that. Um, but you can never put anybody with him because he's always getting What's kidnapped for having stupid shit happen to him. In second OG there were people who got force deployed. You could put people with him. And in Z3 as well, you could... Like, most of the time, like 90% of the time, you could put people with people who were force deployed. They didn't have to sit by themselves. And then Moon Dwellers force deploys, force deploys Granthi and doesn't let you put anybody with him. So you're always down at least one dude. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure this thing is like, oh, I'm the bed. Yeah, like the bright side is the J plot's on, so next game I'm pretty certain that um, Toy is going to deploy in the the Kuswell, and it'll have its finisher, and Calvina will be in the Brigandi, and then towards the end, um, Alvan shows up and he's like, they have authorized the use of the Draconius because it's really important we don't have the world destroyed or whatever, and then that's when he gets the Jacodius back and the princess is the uh it's the third sub pilot and now that remains.